In Nigeria, elections are held every four years. We choose a new leader to provide some services for the country. The government provides amenities like good roads, water, security, and education. These services cost money, but the government is not a business. They do not sell and buy like normal businesses. And they do not make profits, but they do have to record their transactions. Public sector accounting involves recording the receipts and payments of the government funds. The records are also interpreted so decisions can be made by the government using them. Unlike businesses around us that keeps records, public sector accounting is different. The government is not interested in making profits. The accounting process is about providing services. In public sector accounts, there are no creditors for the goods and services. Private businesses around us get their revenue from selling goods and providing services. The government gets their money from taxes and fees. Assets owned by the government are not depreciated at all. In public sector accounting, transactions are recorded when cash is paid or received. This is called a cash basis. Unlike in the private sector that uses accrual basis, if a private business sells an item of 50000 on the 1st of June and receives money 1st of January next year, the transaction will be recorded on the 1st of June. In the public sector, the 50000 will be recorded on the 1st of January next year when the cash is received. The financial accounts published by the government are made for the public, unlike in private companies where it is for the shareholders. The government renders services to its citizens with no motive to for making profit, but for accountability, public sector accounting is needed. See you in my next class, guys.